Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's David here and welcome back to another video. This time, we're focusing on Persona 5 Tactica. I know it's been a while since the last video, it's the calm after the storm, right? We got a bunch of information, I took it slowly the next few days, so I am back in full force now. And today we're gonna do everything that we know so far about Persona 5 Tactica, because I of course did my Atlas News episode and I gave you the big information on platforms and all of that, but there's a bunch of smaller information that was given to us ever since the game was first revealed. So today what I did a bit of research and I found all the information that I figured would be interesting for you guys to hear about in terms of P5T and I regrouped everything and here we go everything that we know so far about Persona 5 Tactica. If you are new to the channel and you want more content on anything Atlas, SMT, Persona, Metaphor, Refenizio, make sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell as well. I'm trying to be the number one source of information for Atlas news and these types of videos, everything that we know so far, I try to do it for every single Atlas release up to launch. I just recently did it for Etrion Odyssey Origins Collection and you can expect it for their next release which is going to be Persona 3 Reload. So make sure you subscribe for that as we're aiming for 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. Big goal but with your help we can do it. So here we go. So Persona 5 Tactica is a strategy RPG in the Persona 5 universe. It has a original story and it has new characters. Some of them that we already saw in the trailers. Looks good right? Different style, different art style, looks very different than Persona Q, looks very different than Persona 5, but it has elements from both, right? So it's an original, uh, it's original in terms of story, but also in terms of visuals. Uh, so that is going to be interesting. I do want to say real quick, I think this is going to be the last Persona 5 game, the last Persona 5 spinoff, because we got a ton. We got Persona 5, and then we got Persona 5 Royal, which are the main games. We got Persona 5 Strikers, we got Persona Q2, we got Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight, we got... Did I say Strikers? Persona 5 Tactica, No Arena, there's Persona 5X as well, the mobile game that is coming. And now we have Persona 5T, and generally speaking, they don't do as many spinoffs for their games. Uh, Persona 4 was milked to death, right? It was a meme before Persona 5 came out, how Atlas is always milking P4, right? Well, they're doing something more intense with 5, which is a more successful game overall. So it's understandable. I expect this to be the last Persona 5 spinoff before Persona 6 is finally here. So now let's get into the information for the release itself, the interesting stuff, right? Persona 5 Tactica is set to release on all platforms globally it's a worldwide launch on November 17th 2023 and it's coming out on all platforms which is awesome gotta applaud Atlas for that so yes it's coming out on PS4 PS5 Xbox one Xbox series platforms PC via Windows and also via Steam and you have that Nintendo switch version available as well which hey sometimes they skip it for some reason so it, it is here for Persona 5 Tactica the game is available for purchase digitally but also physically on all platforms except PC doesn't have a physical which again PC gamers they don't really care about physical I, I, or at least I'm assuming things but I, I don't think PC gamers are uh, they care about physical they don't really get physical games anymore or at least not a lot of them so here it is if you buy the game, if you pre-order the game, whether it's uh, digital or physical, you are eligible for a pre-order bonus. The pre-order bonus is actually pretty cool. It is actually summonable personas. You have Orpheus Picaro and Izanagi Picaro that are going to be unlocked from the start as a uh, summonable persona in P5T. If you buy it physically, though, there's an other pre-order bonus that you can get, which looks really, really cool. Uh, that being said, it is retailer exclusive in certain regions. Like in the States, it is GameStop exclusive. It is actually two coasters, which are really cool. Two Persona 5 Tactica coasters, one for Joker, one for Morgana. I think they look great. I'm not even sure where I live in Canada if we're going to have those and which retailer will have them. But in terms of the states, I can already say it's GameStop. Make sure you check out in your region if you would like to have those coasters. I, I know. I, I, I know. At least I think it's available in other regions. I just don't know what retailer. So you can check out for that. Two digital versions are available for purchase. Of course, you have your standard digital version, which comes with the regular pre-order bonus. That one is priced at $60. Or you can get what Sega always does nowadays. And I try to get my opinion out of these videos here. So it is a digital deluxe version of the game. It comes with, of course, the pre-order bonus. But it also comes with day one DLC that is available for Persona 5T. We'll talk about that in just a second. So the DLC goes like this. You have the Repaint Your Heart Challenge Pack DLC. Uh, that one includes a new mode with the new rules in battle and also new maps. Plus, you get two characters with 
much. This I don't I don't really like it to be honest. It's Goro Akechi and Kasumi from Persona 5. They're locked behind the paywall. So if you want to play with these two characters, you have to purchase the Repaint Your Heart DLC, which comes with these two. Uh, so that one is included in the digital deluxe version of the game. Now you also get the weapon pack DLC, which it's going to be weapons for your characters, right? You get the Picaro summoning pack, which gives you more Picaro personas that are summonable other than the pre-order bonuses ones. He's an Agi and Orphis. And you get Raul from Persona 5 as well. That digital deluxe version of the game is $80. So you pay $20 more and you get all the DLC. Now you can purchase the DLC separately. I feel like the Repaint Your Heart DLC is called Repaint Your Heart Challenge Pack. That one is probably going to be the most interesting one to most people because there's new content plus new characters. That one retails at $20, so $20 for that DLC. The Weapon Pack is $8 and the Picaro pack with Raul as a summonable persona is $10. So basically, if you purchase the digital deluxe version of the game, you get um, basically $18 off and uh, all the currency listed here is US dollars. So again, pricing can vary uh, in your region for sure. But this is pretty much all the information that we have on Persona 5 Tactica for now. Uh, to me, I love it. Most information that we have on it is good, physical, digital, all platforms. Digital Deluxe version of the game is kind of like, eh, don't really like to see it, but hey, it happens. Now, I do want to say real quick, as of the time of recording this video, Anime Expo is about to start, and Atlas has been very clear that they're going to give us more information on both Persona 5 Tactica and Persona 3 Reload at Anime Expo. New information can be nothing, but it can also be important information so if there is very important information or let's say there's something in this video that is not right anymore after anime expo which i really doubt i will be updating my pinned comment in this video so make sure you check that out once you watch the video to see if there's any type of new information but of course as always i am trying to be the number one source for atlas information so if there's something big there will be an atlas news episode up on the channel so you just ring that notification bell and you will be up to date hey thank you all so much for watching thank you for your patience another small update if you stayed until the end of this video this video means you care about a lot of my content i appreciate you thank you i said i was going to do a first impressions video on etrion odyssey origins collection this is not going to happen not because i'm not a man of my word but on the opposite this game is way too good i like it way too much i'm 25 hours in love it i i'm only playing it right now it's really really good it's the only game i'm playing i'm gonna do a full review for it so i'm just putting this out there you can expect a full review for etrion odyssey uh hd remaster the first game in the series we'll probably review the other ones but later in the future so if you're if you're in for that make sure you look forward to it hey you have a great day y'all and a great upcoming weekend as well bye